right, man. So when I first heard about the Bryson Tiller Deluxe, um, there's a lot of things that ran through my mind. Obviously, it's album mode for Bryson Tiller, so uh, it's more like a business move than anything, not more. So I would you the fans wanted it, but not so, look. I saw the track list and I, I figured I was like I heard all these songs except for the outro. The outro is the only song that I probably play on here that I haven't heard. But it was kind of just weird to me that he would do this after five years and also now drop Right My Wrongs video, which I thought that was pretty. You know, again, it's it, it just. It just further proves how successful Trap Soul was, but also fuels my argument of like, hey, look, was set it what was not set at all because that's my favorite one of my favorite Bryson Tiller tracks. But was self titled really a great track? I mean, an album like it's a forgettable album. And I think in an interview he said he didn't even want to do the album. So I, I always ask you guys, is Bryson Tiller still living off the Trap Soul hype now? I am a fan. I got Trap Soul right there on my wall, all right? I'm going to do a vinyl video soon with that. And, again, I support every artist, but at the same time, I'm not afraid to give my opinions and talk and have that conversation because when you really think about it, a lot of people are having the conversation about Bryson Tiller and Brent Fayaz and, and is it any good and, and who's bad and whatnot. So I feel like right here with Bryson Tiller, it's just – more of a business move to get ready for his next album because he knew everybody was going to listen to that deluxe. Now, I am happy about the deluxe being released because there is um, one track on there that I wanted to uh, put on, you know, put on notice, Self-Righteous. Self-Righteous is the track that has always been and everybody's probably everybody's favorite on a SoundCloud basis. We could not put it on our playlists on Spotify or Apple Music, so I'm glad that it is finally now on, you know, streaming platforms for us to kind of just be able to integrate that shit, you know, because we always wanted that. I feel like Just Another Interlude was one of those tracks that kind of brought Bryson into the game. We're going to do it for a little bit, you know, let that shit ride for a little bit, you know. Can I time? Who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we like this. I got the... But we all know that's from the Drake song, you know, Drake song, you know, I forgot, I'm coming back. Bria's Interlude. That was Bria's Interlude on So Far Gone, and it was kind of cool at that time when you see that, Drake and Bryson were kind of, you know, getting together and doing their thing and, you know, just uh, you know, starting to realize that Bryson Tiller was the next thing up. We thought at least he was the next thing up. And I'm going to talk about this later on in the video. I know I'm kind of just nagging on him right now, but we're going to talk about this in, in, in the video because I, I watched the Write My Wrongs video and I want to give my opinion on that because it was a crazy video to watch it five years later because it's so true and it reflects his life. Self-righteous though, man, we all got... You know. Oh, trust me, baby, it's hard. <laughs> This sound like some Celadon City type shit, you know, Celadon City. You know, if y'all play, uh, uh, you know, blue version, red version, that's what it sound like, bro. So I thought that was, man, one of my favorite tracks, man. It definitely was what made me a Bryson Tiller fan. Um, and then I listened to tra um, to Trap Soul a little bit later. I was probably about five months later when I listened to it. I do have the video up. And I listened to Rambo Last Blood featuring The weekend, and I actually got my video taken down. And it makes sense now because that was supposed to be a track that wasn't released. And that's usually what they do when they take your videos down on YouTube. So um, I think I still have that video up. I might have put it back up. You can probably go check that out. But I thought that was pretty cool cool feature on the weekend you can definitely hear a little bit a of um you know altering into the tracks definitely in self-righteous at the beginning how the beat was um and rambo as well because there was some pauses in there that you can hear the difference from now the outro thank you is one track i want to actually hear first of all man i think i got so much to just believe in me and um All right, so just a little thank you track right there. Okay, so not a bad deluxe, man. Definitely something that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too hyped up on because I've already heard all these tracks. It wasn't something, you know, again, I thought I think it was just more of a business move because this album is coming out, his album mode. Um, True to Self is what the album is called, too. I know I probably fucked that up earlier and called self title, but True to Self is what the album is called. My bad. Um, just correcting myself now. I, we are all, look, I, I'm wrong sometimes. I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, but what I do want to talk about, though, is that is that Bryson Tiller right to wrongs video because when you look at it and watching the way that you know he he was crying towards the end of the video and watching the end of the video because we all know that's a really heartfelt track from Bryson Tiller and we all feel that and when you actually think about where he was at that point because Drake said it best the girl or the world you see someone has to lose and I feel like people don't really understand that and people always talk about the conversation where it's like oh you need to make time you can make time for what you want in all honesty no because 
these chances don't come at you all the time. Like when life gives you lemons, you either take it and make lemonade or you let the motherfucking lemons rot. And people don't really realize people have lost career chances because of certain choices that they make in life. Life is about choices. So for you, all you young kids right there, when I tell you guys I started YouTube and out of nowhere, you know what, I decided that, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. I was given a choice and I took that choice and I'm being rewarded with that risk that I took. So what happened was towards the end of the video, of course, the love of his life. This is the girl, the father of his ch child. And I mean, the uh, mother of his child. And he's thinking that like, okay, you know, I'm gonna try to take you with me. And I thought that the subtitles under that kind of was explaining what they were really saying because in their language, every love language is different. You know, everybody talks different and everybody has their own types of way of communicating. Even if it's just one word, it can mean a thousand things. So I think that when Bryson Tiller was going towards the end and saying, I thought that the, the line that really hit me was when it said that, you know, you're missing the best part. And when I look at it, it's like, who really lost? Did, did, did Bryson Tiller lose? Did his baby moms lose? Or did they both really lose? I don't know if they're back together right now. I don't really indulge in his life like that. Because when you really think about it, it's like, oh, shit. Like, he was heartbroken. He made a fire album. She was heartbroken. But she didn't get to, well, she did get to, I don't know if she reaped the benefits of Bryson Tiller. You know, I don't, I don't know if she th didn't think that it was going to blow up like that. Because you start seeing all the flashbacks throughout the years. And even though it is five years later, and I thought that was a bad time to make the video because it's a little late, it did make a little bit more sense because now you can kind of see where he is in his mindset. And I, that's what I want to talk about too, that I've been nagging on him so hard because looking back through the five years, man, like she she didn't realize, maybe she didn't realize it was going to be that crazy. And I feel like right there, he knew what he was going to be and he had something going and he took that chance and I felt like she should have stuck around, but she didn't. That's just what I'm getting from the video. But what I want to say is, man, for someone that's been going through it for five years, to see the tears what he was going through, maybe he was actually really going through something in five years. And we need to be respectful and fair in that regard. I when I look, when I talk about it, it's never personal. It's always about the music. That's what people don't understand. It's always about music. All right. It's never about what Bryson Tiller is as a father. Is Bryson Tiller as a person? You know, he needs to give us more music. It's more just about look, trap soul. That's what it is. Self title, true to self. Uh, was was buns to me and I feel like he hasn't been consistent and there's a reason for it But yeah, there's a reason but I'm just talking about the music. It's just not consistent. It is what it is I mean, I'm not giving out pity pats over here. I'm just saying it is what it is. He hasn't been consistent That's what it was Regardless of the reason but when you look at the reason it's kind of just like maybe he was going through something He was very heartbroken Maybe that you know He understood that this music shit fucked him up and it fucked up his life because he could have had the girl of his dreams That he's always wanted and y'all can say what y'all want look even as cold-blooded as I am saying like there's always that one girl Or that one person that fucks you up and people don't really realize that that's why we listen to tracks like right my wrongs Right, so I thought I feel like with Bryson Tiller right there He was having a lot of reflection and going through a lot of things that we probably may, they may not even know Or he will never ever explain to us so I think that we kind of kind of respect that that regard and I like that's maybe what the reason was and now I'm looking at that video that was really heartfelt and I can kind of understand where he was coming from maybe in the last five years of kind of going ghost and not saying anything but get a comment box below man let me know what you think about this, the, the video let me know what you think about true to self let me know what you think about trap soul being one of the greatest albums of the decade let me know how you feel about the extra songs I'm definitely happy that self righteous it made my Spotify playlist immediately you guys know how to get that man um uh, patreon that's how you guys get that 3,000 likes man we'll do it hey, 3,000 likes man we'll do a top five top five worst top five best trap soul songs on and we'll do that as well because i still owe you guys some videos like that but till next time man it's me boy dev don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff i know i've been talking at a thousand miles per hour this is how i talk when i'm in the zone i'm in the zone but thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting and uh till the next time we out peace